nowadays people have this software philosophy where if they want to add something to our collective you know software repository so to speak they want to write stuff on top of old stuff to get a, your comment on something which javascript and actually most languages uh, sort of python such a big part of the experience of programming with those languages includes libraries sort of using building on top of the code that other people have built I think that's probably different from the experience that we just talked about from Unix and C days when you're building stuff from scratch. What do you think about? If you want to do something in, you mentioned Python and JavaScript, and those are the two fine examples, you have to typically download a boatload of other stuff and you have no idea what you're getting. Gee, something doesn't work. Well, you pip install this, okay, and down comes another gazillion megabytes of something and you have no idea what it was. And if you're lucky, it works. And if it doesn't work, you have no recourse. There's absolutely no way you could figure out which in these thousand different packages. Engineering had changed drastically over the, over the period of say the 1990s in a way that was sort of discontinuous. And I'll explain what that was like. In at the beginning of the, of the 1990s, there were still resistors, transistors, capacitors, inductors, right? And you could put them together and make bigger things out of smaller things. And you knew what every one of these things did. That is, there was a very clear description. By the end of the, 19, uh, of the 1990s, all of a sudden there were a thousand pin chips with manuals this fat, and the person who wrote the manual didn't know it was inside the chip. And that's true also of, of programming. At the beginning of the, uh, of the 1990s, things were made out of little parts like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, cons, car cutter, stuff like that. At the end, there were these enormous libraries of things like graphics libraries and this, that, and the other with thousands of functions written into a, a, a giant manuals. So what I discovered for around the middle of the 1990s was my students were spending most of their time reading man pages. 